Okay, first thing I noticed, they toasted the bun. Okay, Italian beef sandwiches in Chicago, they do not have toasted buns. What is up everybody and welcome to this week's taste test challenge. This week I'm doing another one from that Dobro's Chicago style pizza place up here in the land. A few weeks ago you seen me do their deep dish pizza which is just a thick pizza. It's not the actual, it wasn't the actual deep dish stuffed pizza. And like I said in that video, I will link it down below. But like I said in that one, I am going to readdress it because it's not the pizza that I actually ordered or was expecting I should say. I will revisit that later, but this one is the their version of a Chicago-style Italian beef sandwich. Now, I'm not really sure. I know it comes with cheese on it. It's got this adult-proof container. There we go. It's got chips. They did a side, they said chips or marinated vegetables or whatever, and you know, I don't I don't do that stuff. <laughs> so this is just like kind of potato chips, which I am not gonna eat. I'm just getting them off to the side here so that they are out of the way. Alright, kind of a sandwich cut in half. Here's some of the juice. Okay, first thing I noticed. They toasted the bun, okay? Italian beef sandwiches in Chicago, they do not have toasted buns. They are just either dipped or the beef is just thrown in them. So that's not right. Okay, the beef looks like sliced Italian beef. It's not shredded. It looks like it's just sliced. And there really isn't a whole lot in this sandwich. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to kind of wet this down a bit. Get the bread all nice and juiced up. Because that's the way I like it. I like them when they're dipped and nice and wet. So there we go like that. I'll set this over here for now. Now it smells, smells like an Italian beef sandwich. But it doesn't smell like a Chicago Italian beef sandwich because the the flavoring in an Italian beef sandwich from Chicago is very very unique it is very hard to duplicate outside of the city of Chicago for whatever reason now I have tried several places down here that claim they have Chicago style beef sandwiches like I was just at one the other day with a friend of mine for lunch friendly confines it's a Chicago um, not a Chicago based but a Chicago themed uh, restaurant, Friendly Confines, Wrigley Field. They've got all Chicago stuff up on the wall, everything, and one of their menu items was a Chicago-style Italian beef. I had it from there. Not even close. Not even close. The, the beef wasn't even flavored. It was absolutely terrible. <clears throat> and I've had several other ones. The only one that I did have that was actually really good, and I will put a link down in the description, was from Rosati's. The Rosati's that's down here in Apopka, Florida, which Rosati's, for those of you who know, is a very large Chicago-based uh, pizza restaurant place. And that Italian beef sandwich, spot on. Spot on perfect. Spot on perfect for Chicago-style beef down here in Florida. But all the other ones I've had haven't even come close. And for some reason, just going off the smell of this, I'm thinking this one is probably not going to be that good, but we're going to see. Let the juice settle in a little bit. Now it does have cheese on it, Italian beef, French bread, toasted, which isn't right, but it's toasted. But let's see how this tastes. Yeah, no. That's just regular sliced Italian beef. There's no seasoning in it, which has been what the, like the main problem down here for uh, places that claim they have a Chicago-style beef sandwich. <clears throat> There's no flavor in the beef. Yeah, nothing. 
I mean, e even the, the juice here does not have that Chicago flavor in it. That's just like a, it's like a seasoned gravy. It does not have the flavor. It does not have the flavor at all. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping, kind of hoping that this would be good. Now, their pizza, their deep dish pizza was really good, really good. Yeah, see, very, very bland, very flat. There's no, yeah, there's no seasoning in that, in that beef. There's, I mean, nothing. There's literally nothing. It tastes like you got a slice of roast beef from the deli. No seasoning, no salt, no pepper, no other type of enhancement, and just ate it. It's very plain. Very plain, very flat, no flavoring whatsoever. <clears throat> I mean, I think what they mean by Chicago style is that it comes on a French bread. They put the beef in the French bread, and you got the, the sauce gravy here, a Jew, whatever you want to call it. But this doesn't have any flavor in it either. It does not have that Chicago style flavor in it. It's, it's Once again, it's not even close. Not even close. I'm very disappointed in that. Um, yeah, the flavoring, the flavoring in that is terrible. It, it's very flat, very flat. Does not taste good at all. So, with that being said, I'll give this like a 1.8. Very, very low. The, the flavoring in here is terrible. There is no flavoring in there. Let's put it that way. There is no flavoring in here. It's just roast beef thrown on a bun with a little bit of cheese on top. I mean, e even the like I said, even the, the gravy here, if you, know, if you put some salt or something in it, something to add some type of flavor, I think it would be much better. But this is very, very flat, no flavor in it, very disappointing, very, very disappointing. But I am going to go finish it. This is going to be my dinner. Not very good. See, there's no... There's no flavor in that. There's nothing in there. There's no flavor in that. It just tastes like a like a piece of flat meat with no flavor in it. I mean, nothing. I mean, not even salt or pepper or garlic or anything. There's like nothing on that at all. Very disappointing. Very, very disappointing on that one. Well, all right, guys. That's this review. I will never have this again. I'm not going to have this again. I can, I'm being perfectly honest with you, I will not order that again. But yeah, kind of disappointing. Kind of very disappointing. But anyway, guys, that's this week's taste test challenge. Dobro's Chicago-style Italian beef sandwich. Not that good in my opinion. No flavor at all. So anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button below. Leave me a comment on what you thought of this. If you've tried this, if you're local in the area here, if you tried it, what you thought of it, I'm pretty sure you're not going to try it. I would not recommend trying it, put it that way. So anyway, with that being said, guys, come back next week for another taste test challenge, and I'll see you guys then. Thanks, guys.